Hello everyone! This is Teacher Karen. So, nandito na naman tayo sa ating bagong pag-aaral o bagong lesson. Ang topic natin ngayon ay English System and Metric System. English System of Measurement. We have common conversion facts. In length, we have 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. And then, 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. And then, 5,280 feet is equal to 1,760 yards is equal to also to 1 mile. Next, we have in weight, 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound. 2,000 pounds is equal to 1 ton. Capacity, uh, 2 cups is equal to 1 pint. 8 pints is equal to 1 gallon. And then, 1 quart is equal to 4 cups. Another one in time, we have 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute, 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour, and 24 hours is equal to 1 day, and then 12 months is equal to 1 year. In metric unit of measure naman, ang length ay 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. 1 decimeter is equal to 1 ten meter. Importante po na ma-memorize nyo or ma-familiarize kayo sa conversion ng English system at ng metric system. We have in weight, 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. In liquid measures naman po, 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. 1 deciliter is equal to 110 liter. Sa English system, importante talaga na ma-memorize mo yung mga conversion factors or conversion facts. Ngayon, dito sa metric system, Sa metric system naman po, meron tayong tinatawag na metric number line. Dito ay yung pinakamabigat or pinakamahaba or pinakamarami sa kilo. And then yung pinakamaliit, pinakakonti at pinakamagaang ay dito sa mili. And then, itong nasa gitna, ito yung mga basic units. Meter, liter, and gram. Itong kilo, hecto, deka, kasama ng kanilang mga uh, acronyms or anti-acronyms yung short short uh, name nila uh, ito yung prefix meaning yung nasa unahan for example, kung ang basic natin o ang sinusukat natin ay length meter ang gagamitin natin kung capacity naman, liter or yung liquid and then kapag uh, weight naman, is gram for example, kilometer hectometer so, kapag meter, ito yung mahaba, pinakamahaba, at ito yung pinakamaikli. Pag sa liter naman, ito yung marami, at ito yung pinakakaunti. Pag gram naman, ito yung pinakamabigat, at ito yung pinakakaunti. So, mili, centi, deci, meter, deka, hecto, and kilo. Gagamitin natin itong metric number line kahit hindi mo nyo mamemorize sa conversion factors ng metric system. Basta memorize mo tong metric number line, wala tayong magiging problema. Okay, for example, example, so example number 1. We have for each kilogram of person's weight, 1.5 milligrams of a drug is to be given. What dosage should a 160 pound man be given? So this time, gagamit tayo ng English and metric system. So, ang kung i-analyze natin yung problem, ang hinahanap dito kung ilang dosage ang ibibigay ng isang doktor sa isang 160 pounds na tao. O yung may bigat na 160 pounds. So, ang una natin gagawin ay i-convert natin yung 160 pounds sa kilogram para malaman natin kung ilang kilo yung isang tao at malaman natin yung corresponding milligrams o dosage ng gamot na kailangan niya. So, sa so conversion factors ng English system, ang 1 kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. 
So the first thing we do is since we're given natin is 164 kilograms, so 160 pounds times since may pound dito. So ang 2.2 pounds natin ay gala, lalagay natin sa denominator. And then yung 1 kilogram ay nasa denominator. Why? Kasi ikakancel natin yung units. Para ang natitira na lang is yung kailangan natin kilogram. So yung natira is 160 times 1 kilogram is equal to 160 kilogram and then 2.2. And then since fraction niya, meaning that is division. So 160 divided by 2.2 is equal to 72.72 kilograms. So may kilograms na tayo. So kailangan natin malaman kung ilan ang ilang milligrams of drugs ang kailangan ng mayroong timbang na 72.72. Okay. So, yung 72.72 ay ni-rounding off natin into the whole number. So, since mas malakataas siya sa 4, yung 7 na katabi ni 2, mag-a-add tayo ng isa dito sa 2 kaya magiging 73 siya. So, 73 times yung 1.2 kilograms of drugs kasi every kilogram is 1.5 kilograms. Kaya imumultiply natin siya. So, 73 times 1.5, that is 109 milligrams. So, ibig sabihin, ang kailangan ng 160 pound man ay 109 milligrams of drugs. Okay. So, we will try another uh, problem. Problem number one, it's all about time. So, kung makikita ninyo kung familiar kayo dyan, ang tawag dyan ay crochet. So, grandma knitted a scarf for me in two weeks. How many hours did it take her? So, ginawa daw yung gagawa siya ng scarf. Alam niyo ba yung scarf? Yung parang masang malaking panyo. Ngayon, gagawin ng, ni grandma yun sa loob ng two weeks. Pero ang tanong nun is, ilang oras meron ang dalawang linggo o yung weeks? How many hours are there in two weeks? So, ang conversion factor natin is, one week is equivalent to seven days, and one day is equivalent to 24 hours. So, ang ginamit natin dito ay ang English system. And then, two conversion factors yung gagamitin natin. So, uunahin natin yung given natin na 2 weeks and then yung kailangan natin na hours. So, 2 weeks. Convert 2 weeks to hours. So, yung 2 weeks, since weeks yan, so, yung unang conversion factor natin, ang 1 week ay nasa denominator and then yung 7 days ang nasa numerator. And then, nandito na yung days. So, yung days, ay, itong 1 day na to ay nasa numerator nasa denominator and then 24 hours ay nasa numerator. Kailangan yung magka ano sila as out yung cross. So, i-cross out na natin yung double yung unit weeks and days. So, ang natitira na lang is yung kailangan natin hours. So, 2 times 7 times 24 times 1 times 1 okay. So, 2 times 7 times 24 is equal to 336 hours. Since 1 na ito, 1 times 1 is 1, bali, hindi na siya ah, ilalagay. Kasi automatic, that is a uh, whole number. So, meaning, grandma needed a scarf for 336 hours or 2 weeks. Problem number 2 naman is all about length. So, Joan is stringing the beads to make a necklace. So, she is using 30 of the 8mm beads and then 70 of the 4mm beads and 40 of the 2mm beads. So, how many centimeters will her finished necklace be? Okay. So, si Joan daw ay gagawa ng necklace uh, made of beads. So, 30 pieces daw ng, ng 80mm na beads. Kung mapapansin nyo, iba-iba sila ng size. And then, 70 pieces daw yung 4mm beads. And then, 40 o, ng 2mm beads. So, ang tanong, 
how many centimeter will her finish necklace be? So, in, in, in how many centimeter daw ba yung matatapos na yung necklace sa na using yung mga ganyang sukat ng mga bleed. So, ang una natin gagawin, i-multiply natin yung 30 sa 8 para malaman natin kung ilang millimeter yung 8 millimeter na beads na 30 pieces. And then, so 30 times 8 is equal to 200 millimeter. And then, yung 70 tsaka yung 4 millimeter ay i-multiply din natin. So, nakakuha tayo ng 280 millimeter. And then, yung 40 times 2 millimeter na beads ay 80. Then, i-add natin silang lahat. That will be 600 millimeter. So, now, we will convert 600 millimeter to centimeter. So, gagamitin namin natin ngayon ay metric system. So, 1 centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeter. Or, pwede tayo gumamit ng metric number line. So, ang, ang conversion natin is centimeter and millimeter. So, from millimeter to centimeter, ilan kaya move ang gagawin natin? Okay, so we have one move going to the left. So, meaning, kung may 600 ako at magmumove ako ng isa going to left, makakancel yung zero na yon, and then ang matitira na lang ay 60. So, meaning, that is 60 centimeter. So, Joanne finished 60 centimeter necklace made of bead. So, in problem 3 naman po, is all about liquid. So, Mrs. Reyes is planning a class party of 450 students. She will be serving apple juice. So, if she serves 250 ml per student, how many liters of juice will she serve? So, solution. So, ang problema kasi, si Mrs. Reyes ang nagkakaroon ng class party. So, ang class niya ay consists of 50 students. So, is this magsiserve daw siya ng apple juice na 250 ml per student. So, ilang liters daw ng juice ang kailangan ng tinlayo para maserve sa student yung apple juice ng equal. So, 250 ml times 50 students para malaman natin kung ilang ml yung juice na kailangan niya. So, kailangan niya ng 12,500 ml na juice. Para doon sa, sa 50 students niya. Ngayon, ang tanong, how many liters of juice will she serve? So, i-convert na ngayon natin ang 12,000 500 ml to liters. So, gagamit tayo ulit ng metric number line, pero this time, gagamitin natin na basic R, the basic unit ay liter, since kasi liquid na lang siya. So, from ml to liters tayo. So, inan kaya move going to the left ang mangyayari. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa so, 12,500 pag move tayo ng then, makakancel na yun ng dalawang zero. So, kung saan nag-stop yung arrow, nandun yung decimal point. So, ang magiging itura niyan ay 12.5 liters. So, na-convert na siya. No need naman para mag-multiply pa tayo or anything or mag-divide. Just uh, move lang yung kailangan natin using the metric number plan. Ganyan kadali yung metric system. Unlike sa English system, kailangan mo siyang isolve. So, Mrs. Reyes serves 12.5 liters of juice. So, alam na ngayon ni Mrs. Reyes kung ilang litrong juice ang kailangan natin. Okay, problem number 4 naman is all about weight or mass. So, Sarah purchased 8 kg of sugar, 10 kg of flour, 500 grams of cocoa, 225 grams of nuts, and 275 grams of coconut. Kasi may plano siya, may plano siya gumawa na brownies. So, namili siya na grocery siya. So, ang tanong, how much do all her groceries weigh in kilograms? Okay, so, igano do kabigat yung, uh, yung grocery ni Zara 
in kilogram. So, solution natin dyan, bibilangan natin lahat kung ilang kilo yung, yung binili niya. So, 8, 8 kilograms of sugars, 10 kilograms of flour. So, yan lang yung may kilograms kasi the rest is drops. So, i-add natin siya. That is 80 grams. And then, sa kabila naman, yung may mga grams. So, 100 grams of cocoa, 225 of nuts, and then, 275 grams of coconut. So, meron tayo 1,000 grams. Eh, ang tanong is kilograms. So, ito, ito na eh. Okay na to eh. Kilograms siya eh. Pero ito yung problema. Kasi, naka-grams pa siya. Okay. So, i-convert na ngayon natin yung one, yung 1,000 to uh, 1,000 grams to kilograms. Kasi yung 18 ki kilograms of sugar and flour, wala na problema doon kasi nakakilograms na. So, ito na yung magiging problema natin. Yung 1,000 grams. So, convert natin. So, using the metric number line. So, so this time, gagamit tayo yung basic unit na grams. So, from kilogram, from grams to kilograms. So, how many moves going to the left? 1, so, 1,000 grams, 1, 2, 3. And then, cancel the yung 3. Then, ang magiging tura niya is 1 kilogram. So, meaning, 1,000 grams equivalent to 1 kilogram. So, yung problema natin dyan, yung 8 grams plus 10 kilograms na flour is 18 kilograms. Yung 500 grams ng cocoa plus 225 grams of nuts and 275 grams of coconut is 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So, yung 1 kilogram na yan, ay eh, i-add natin dun sa 18 kilograms. So, makukuha ka natin ang 19 kilograms. Meaning, Sarah purchased groceries weighing 19 kilograms. Okay? So, that's all. Thank you. And God bless. See you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.